this is an oxymoron production. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is terrible fake laughing. <laughs> you guys are awful. Did you know that in 2010, the number of prescription drug overdose deaths in the United States was higher than the combined total of overdose deaths due to heroin, cocaine, and marijuana? Overall, during that year, a total of 38,329 people in the U.S. died as a result of drug overdose, 22,134 of which resulted from prescription drugs. Prescription drugs like Xanax, Ativan, Codeine, and Oxycodone are some of the most common prescription drugs linked to fatal overdoses. Oxycodone is simply a name given to drugs that release oxytocin, a sort of happy hormone for pain relief. Oxycodone is o opioid pain medication. This means that it is made from natural products found in the opium poppy plant. Since the drug is sold to consumers in pharmacies, it was rigorously tested. The list of side effects is very detailed, unlike that of some illegal drugs, whose effects on the body are still unknown. Being a pain medication, oxycodone is used to treat moderate to severe pain. It causes the release of a hormone called oxytocin, which studies have shown is released during sexual intercourse and at childbirth. It is known for being a maternal hormone because it is released during breastfeeding and when a mother bonds with her baby and also as a love hormone since oxytocin is one of the chemicals released when couples connect. It is easy to see how this makes the drug very attractive to many users. Oxycodone also works by stimulating certain opioid receptors located throughout the central nervous system. When the oxycodone attaches to the opioid receptors, chemicals including dopamine are released. These chemicals block the pain messages from the nerves to the brain which results in pain relief. This means that the nerves that would normally inform the body of Ow, that hurts! are numbed or ignored. While using oxycodone, users are in sort of a euphoric state caused by the release of dopamine, and they become very relaxed and calm. Many describe the feeling as floating. Oxycodone, especially when mixed with other compounds such as ibuprofen or acetaminophen, can bring about a slew of often dangerous or even deadly side effects. Those side effects can easily go unnoticed because of the potent pain-killing powers of the pills. Since oxycodone works by slowing down the respiratory system and the central nervous system, Many users experience respiratory depression, slowed breathing, or even respiratory arrest from taking it for a long period of time or from overdose. These side effects result in most deaths related to the substance. Many patients who overdose are found with blue faces because of their lack of oxygen. Elderly patients are at very high risk, particularly in cases of high dosage. Respiratory depression causes severe drowsiness or dizziness and feeling weak. Other common side effects caused by oxycodone are seizures, cold, clammy skin, confusion, dry mouth, sweating, itching, the dilation of pupils, <laughs> lower body temperature. Twenty-six percent of users become constipated because oxycodone can be used to relieve diarrhea, meaning it makes bowel movements more difficult. Fourteen percent vomit and twenty percent experience nausea. The drug causes an increase in hepatic enzymes, the enzymes in the liver, which can cause jaundice and fatal hepatitis. Oxycodone can also cause major hypotension, low blood pressure. Oxycodone causes psychiatric effects, including psychosis, hallucinations, and paranoia. 
One woman reported her husband seeing bobcats, raccoons, and airplanes inside his own room and threatened to divorce him if he didn't do anything about it. Oxycodone is a very addictive drug because it provides relief from pain and feelings of euphoria. The United States Department of Justice found that more than 13 million people in the U.S. abused oxycodone or used the drug for recreational purposes. The Drug Enforcement Administration has noted that around 1.9 million Americans have taken oxycodone illegally. Some users are so addicted that they refuse to get off the drug despite bad reactions. Here's a graph showing the addictive levels of drugs. The red bars represent illegal drugs and the blue bars represent legal drugs. As you can see, oxycodone is almost at 100% addictiveness. Most oxycodone addicts start out as legitimate users who are prescribed the drug by a doctor to relieve severe pain. Over time, they become addicted to the effect and continue using it for recreational purposes, rather than for medical reasons. Individuals who have a history of drug or alcohol abuse or addiction are more likely to become addicted to oxycodone. Some oxycodone users are also just people who want to get high very quickly and easily. Oxycodone is fairly inexpe inexpensive, available, and legal. It also gives an immediate high after being injected or absorbed by the body. As mentioned before, anyone can get addicted quite easily to oxycodone. Usually, addiction leads to long-term use of the drug. Long-term use of oxycodone can lead to high level of drug tolerance, physical and psychological dependence, and respiratory distress. An overdose of oxycodone can cause the respiratory system to shut down, which causes the user to die from asphyxiation. Oxycodone isn't a drug that users can stop taking easily. Users need to go through a withdrawal period of about two to three weeks often under the supervision of a doctor or detoxification center. Symptoms that accompany withdrawal include nausea and vomiting, and psychological symptoms such as increased anxiety and agitation. Addicts can do desperate things to get their high. Doctor shopping is faking pain or illness to multiple doctors in order to receive oxycodone prescriptions in huge quantities. Thousands of pills can be secured within a very short time frame, which is useful for both addicts and dealers. Lots of doctors actually enable their patients because they gain a large profit for drug sales. The problem with doctor shopping is that it can leave a trail. Users sometimes prefer to buy from a dealer, which is completely anonymous. Most need a pill at least once every four to six hours in order to not feel the effects of withdrawal. So some people's addictions could cost them up to $400 a day. This leads to thievery and forging checks, addicts often stealing from within their own family. Fun, Fun facts. facts! Here's a graph representing the global consumption of oxycodone in tons per year. As you can see, in 2010, the consumption of oxycodone is almost at 100 tons. Oxycodone has many slang or street names. You may hear it referred to as any of the following. Percodomes, perks, oxy, OCs, oxycotins, blue, 512, roxies, blue dynamite, hillbilly heroin, kicker, or OS. There are a few methods of consumption for oxycodone, depending on how quickly you want the drug to hit your system. A pill taken orally, whether it is fast or slow release, will be absorbed gradually, though slow release can take up to three hours to reach its peak. Crushed pills, when snorted, will give a high almost immediately and will have a stronger effect. When an oxycodone tablet is ground down, mixed with water and injected, it immediately rushes into the bloodstream for the most powerful high. 